So in our study, we established what we call a population-based cohort. So these are women from the general population who had DCIS in Ontario from 1994 to 2003. We established this cohort. We identified all the treatment. We identified the women that had a recurrence. And we acquired representative samples of their DCIS lesion. And we measured the DCIS score. That's what we did in this project. And we found that the DCIS score was associated with the risk of recurrence. And that the DCIS risk group, in other words, individuals in the low risk group, had a much lower risk of recurrence at 10 years than those with an intermediate or high risk score. So it validated further in a more diverse population of women with DCIS. And that's very informative because it means that in a general population of women who are treated with breast conserving surgery alone, this test can provide added information for women and for clinicians to better understand their future risks of recurrence and then can have discussions with their clinicians on the risk of recurrence versus the potential benefits of treatment. So this assay is a biomarker assay in DCIS which will help better inform women of their risks and help better inform clinicians to make improved treatment decisions and recommendations for women with DCIS.